Birdie. Hey, Pinkie Pie. What are you looking at? Rainbow Dash! Isn't she the most daring devil? I mean, the most devilish darer? I mean, she's dazzling. Ooh, yeah, that's a good word. She's dazzling. She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. How long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Ooh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! Quest for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous, fierce, and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. Has Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle? 
The wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. and cheer you up. We brought your favorite board game. We know how much you like to win. You go first, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> no, no, you first. All right, uh, cloud three. Oh, shucks, you rained on my cumulus. <laughs> go again. Um, sky five? Whoa, you found my seagull. Uh, Cloud 2? You zap my weather pony! <laughs> you stung my bumblebee! Oh, my thunderbolt! Oh, and that's my last cloud! You found it! Guess you guys win! I lose! But Rainbow Dash, you... You didn't even get a turn. You win some, you lose some. But you don't lose some. I don't think you've ever lost a <sighs> game of... Thanks for coming! But yesterday you were desperate for things to do. Do? Who said anything about Daring Do? I told you I'm not interested in reading. <gasps> it's nap time for me. You, Glad we could Phew. cheer you up. You, you, you. Um. All right then. Daring.
searing dew stood at the entrance to the central temple chamber. At last, she was face to face with the legendary Sapphire Statue. doing today we need to get some fresh air in here you're looking sweatier than a pig wrangler on a summer's day uh, well guys uh, thanks for visiting but okay now dinner time for rainbow dash oh just in time I am so hungry oh well don't mind us rainbow dash yeah just go ahead and eat up Oh, on second thought. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> you thought you could evade me and capture the relic for yourself, but you were sadly mistaken, Miss Dew. And now you shall meet your doom. <laughs> Whoa! Who is this dude? <sighs> you won't get away with this, Awizoto! But I already have! Have you been up all night? Uh, of course not. <sighs> well, I'll be quick. Congratulations, Rainbow Dash. We're checking you out of the hospital. What? Later today? No. Right now. Right now? Right now, right now? Right now, right now. <laughs> but I don't feel better. 
Now take it easy, Rainbow Dash. Remember to stay off that wing for a week. How will I ever find out what happens to Terry Do? Is that what Zodo gonna get away with the statuette? What's gonna happen to Daring? Aha! Twilight has a copy of the book. But I can't ask her after I called her an egghead and all. Oh, this is making me sick all over again. Oh! Oh! Oh, the pain! <laughs> the pain! Rainbow Dash, what are you doing here? Anything wrong? Well, uh, my wing! It's still hurting, Doc. Oh, ouch! Right there! I was touching your good wing. Uh, right. Well, I think that one's hurting now, too. <laughs> I think I know what the trouble is. A severe case of lazyitis. You got me all wrong, Doc! I'm not being lazy! You're fine, Rainbow Dash. Give it some time and you'll be right back in the swing of things. Good day, Rainbow Dash. Take care! What am I gonna do? I'll never get to sleep without knowing what happens to Daring Do. Which may not be such a bad thing. Slippers. Hey, get back to the hospital. What's all the ruckus? Mm, I'd say it's more of a fracas than a ruckus. What's going on, Rainbow Dash? <sighs> I'm an egghead. Pardon? See, I was trying to get back into the hospital to finish the last chapter of Daring Do and the Quest for the Sapphire Statue. You got me. Wow. I knew the book was good, but I didn't know it could drive a pony to petty theft. Good? Try awesomely amazing! That book is undeniably, unquestionably, unputdownable! But then I had to put it down. I was sent home before I could finish it. Well, I'm glad that's all this is about. There's no reason to go around causing a ruckus. Fracas! Causing a fracas just because you like to read. Like I said, I have every book in the series, and you can borrow them all, anytime you like. Thanks, Twilight. I'm sorry I made such a big deal about all this. I thought reading was just for smart ponies like you. Rainbow Dash, just because you're athletic doesn't mean you aren't smart. Yeah! 
Just look at me. Reading is something every pony can enjoy, if they just give it a try. Yeah, I get it. I shouldn't knock something until I've tried it. That's a great lesson, and it would make a great letter to the princess. Did you get all that? Yeah. Great! You write the letter, I gotta finish this book! <laughs> With daring do out of the way, the world will suffer mightily at my hands. I am victorious! <laughs> I'll take that! What? No! Better luck next time, Alizoto! And so, with Alizoto defeated and the Sapphire statue secured, the world was safe and sound once again. Thanks to Daring Do. <sighs> Daring Do and the Griffin's Goblet. Awesome! The magical properties of this spell will only have lasting effects if you focus on... <laughs> no! Rainbow Dash! Ugh! How in Equestria does that pony expect to pass her History of the Wonderbolts exam tomorrow if she's wasting time flying? I'm just gonna fly right up to her and tell her what I think about her lackadaisical approach to studying. Won't she be surprised? Surprise! What? Huh? How did you... Please, Twilight. That was the worst sneak attack ever. What? But I saw you giving me the stink eye from the ground. And heard you flying towards me and muttering from a mile away. Well, if you heard me muttering, then you must know what I was muttering about. Yeah, yeah, the Wonderbolt's history test. No big deal. No, big deal. Really big deal. It's a test. A test that will determine if you can join the newly formed Wonderbolt's reserves. And being part of the Wonderbolt's reserves means you'll have the opportunity to live your dream as a Wonderbolt. This is the most important test of your life. Twilight, not every pony gets all freaked out about tests like you. I do not get all freaked out about tests. Uh, seriously? Your freakouts are so epic, you sing whole freakout arias about freaking out. Fine, I may tend to take my tests a little seriously, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be studying for yours. And I know just the pony who can help you. Me! This is gonna be so much fun! Sure. Fun. My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? <laughs> ah! Wh huh? This is the most complete and ginormous book on the history of the Wonderbolts. Okay, but how am I supposed to get what's in there into here? With my handy-dandy study checklist, of course. Of course. First up, reading and highlighting. Reading and highlighting is the foundation of any good study method. It allows the student to hone in and boil down on what's really important, separating the good from the bad, the wheat from the chaff, getting to the crux of things. Let's see what you've got so far. Um... Huh? Hmm, by highlighting everything, you don't really separate the wheat from the chaff. Or the good from the bad. 
Hey, I am not that tall. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rainbow. Clearly, reading and highlighting is not your style of studying. So let's move on to the tried and true. History lecture. Yes, Rainbow? <laughs> is it snack time? No. Recess? No. Ugh. Can't we just watch the History of the Wonderbolts movie? No! Now, just get comfortable and experience the magic of learning. Ahem. <clears throat> Prior to the great Celestia Luna Rift, there was no need for the Earth Unicorn Pegasi, or EUP Guard. <sighs> but after Luna's banishment, the protective pony platoons were formed. On the anniversary of the first celestial year of peace, a celebration was held. Headed by General Firefly, an elite team of aerial performers were chosen to help commemorate this auspicious occasion. The first performance was so full of energy, so highly charged, that magical lightning showered down on the crowd. Every pony was so filled with amazement and wonder that General Firefly dubbed them the Wonderbolts. Rainbow Dash, can you repeat any of my lesson? <laughs> History lecture? Nope. <sighs> okay, Rainbow. Rainbow? Rainbow Dash! Here! Let's move on to my favorite style of learning. Flashcards! Oh, does that mean I'll learn in a flash? One can only hope. Colonel Purple Dart, the leader of the Wonderbolts in the Fourth Celestial Era, was known for his... Wah! Rainbow, did you see what happened? What? No! I was riveted by your captivating cards! Hmm... After becoming the official flying squadron for Princess Celestia, she honored them with... Gotcha! Go what? The original Wonderbolt's lightning bolt insignia was... Ah! Rainbow Dash, you could have hurt me! With a spit wad? Really? A spit wad to the eye would have been no laughing matter. Well, if you can horse around like this, then you clearly must be ready for the test. Clearly. Well then, I guess you're also ready for a... Pop quiz! Bring it! The initials E-U-P stand for what? Ernie's Undercooked Pancakes. The original aerial team performed for... Celestia's Cereal Celebration. The Wonderbolts were given their name by this famous Pegasus. Who is she? Please don't say Colonel Waffle. Hello, General Blazing Donut Glaze. <laughs> so, did I ace it or what? Or what? You didn't get one answer correct. What? B but how? I don't know. I've never heard answers so wrong. And so breakfast related. If you had taken the official test today, <gasps> my dreams of being in the Wonderbolts Reserve would have been totally crushed. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm running out of time. I don't know any of this history. I'm gonna fail! I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. And it's all your fault. My fault? I'm the one helping you. Maybe your famous study methods aren't all they're cracked up to be, eh, teacher? Excuse me, I've used them to study for many a test and passed. Yeah, right. Do you know the name of the Premier Wonderbolts choreographer? Uh, well, Commander Easy Glider. Do you know how many Pegasi flew in the original squad? Um, seven. Do you know Princess Celestia's favorite flight pattern? The Icaranian Sun Salutation. See, I could pass the test. Fine, rub it in, why don't you? Besides, I don't see why I have to take this lousy test anyway. I've proven I'm one of the best flyers around. Knowing their origin and being able to properly represent them for all of Equestria is just as important. 
Yeah, right. Some history buff like you must have made that up to bring us flyers down. Knowing history actually is beneficial, Rainbow. <laughs> beneficial for eggheads. Girls. Well, this egghead knows history and can fly. Maybe I should become a Wonderbolt. Just because you've got wings doesn't mean you can fly. Girls. You're barely able to just get off the ground. <gasps> uh, girls, stop. Now, is that any way to talk to a friend? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Don't you have more important things to do, like prepare Rainbow for her big test? I've tried everything, Fluttershy, but none of my study methods work for her. Well, no offense to your teaching methods, Twilight, but I think I may have a way to help Rainbow. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Celestia and Luna, back when they were happy. Gummy's an Earth Pony, Winona's a Unicorn, and Tank is a Pegasus. They're the EUP, helping to protect the princess. Uh, how are you getting all this? presentation, but other ponies learn through musical intervention. and, frankly, itchy, original Wonderbolt's flying costume. Fortunately, thanks to the vision of Flair de Mer, the Wonderbolt's ensemble became more streamlined in a wonderfully breathable fabric. Of course, there were fashion hits and misses. Just look at those dreadful bell-bottoms. What were ponies thinking? I don't know! I bet General Flash wrecked these things! Ah! Pinky, you're real! Of course I'm real. I mean, I'm not the real General Flash, the 10th leader of the Wonderbolts, but I, Pinky, am really real. And I'm Admiral Fairy Flight from the 7th Squadron. And of course you recognize Commander Easy Glider. And I'm sporting some sort of get-up worn by Colonel Purple Dart. <laughs> Just look at us. Look at us. Look at me! It's too much for my eyes! Now, don't you fret, Rainbow. This fashion show nonsense wouldn't help me learn nothing either. Really? Well, what special study trick do you have, AJ? Who, me? Oh, I got nothing. Ugh. Why, I could tell you every little thing there is to know about the history of apples, but I picked all that up over years in the field as a labor of love. 
How much time you got? Twelve hours. Oh, then you are up a creek. Well, I think we should just go back to old-fashioned studying. What about our play? Just look at these costumes. Surely something resonates with your inner Wonder Bolt. And Granny Smith discovered the first Granny Smith in Philadelphia when she was just a filly. Commander Easy Glider was the real cream of the crop. Pinky, stop rapping. That isn't going to help Rainbow. Well, I suggest you put down your silly cards of flash, for I know that they cannot help our good friend Rainbow Dash. Well, I no rapping, no cards, no costumes, no plates, and no apples. I am never going to pass this test, ever. Just forget it. Rainbow, I'm sorry about all that. We didn't mean to overwhelm you. It's okay. You were just trying to help. It's just too bad I'm too dumb to learn anything. You are not dumb. You just learn differently. If by differently you mean not at all, then you're totally right. No, that's totally wrong. See? Wrong again. I don't know any pony that's read more Daring Do books than you. Well, that's not going to get me into the Wonder Bolts. And your knowledge of jokes and pranks is only rivaled by Pinky. Great. My years of being a class clown prevented me from actually learning how to learn. That's not what I meant. You're smart, creative, inventive, and... <gasps> hey! I know you're upset, but you don't need to... Whoa. I almost slammed into that. I know. You were jabbering on so much you didn't even notice. But how did you notice? You were listening and talking to me the whole time. <laughs> You're such a rookie. An experienced flyer like me knows how to multitask. While you fly? It's essential. Yes, I was paying attention to you, but was also scanning the sky and the ground for any problems. Really? Flying's not just flying. In order to stay safe in the sky, I gotta hear and see everything down to the littlest detail. For instance, I saw Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo come out of Sugar Cube Corner, and from the looks of it, they had carrot cupcakes with sprinkles. And I'm thinking Big Mac sold a huge order of apples to Filthy Rich, because I heard him give a very hearty... Yup. I always make note of everything when I fly. No biggie. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Gotta go. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to hang out with a loser like me either. Yeah. Thanks for meeting me, every pony. What is it, Twilight? We have to help Rainbow Dash. Yes, but how? We've tried every kind of studying. My way, your way. But we haven't tried Rainbow Dash's way. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Okay, listen up, ponies. Here's the plan. Hey, Rainbow. Wanna go for a fly? <sighs> sure. Got nothing better to do. Didn't we just do this? Yes, but like you said, I'm such a newbie, I need all the practice I can get. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll become a great flyer in no time. After all, you're good at everything. So, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just getting my dreams crushed. Uh, read any good books lately? <sighs> Just history books. I tell you what they're about, but my brain is as dry as a rock. Speaking of rocks, did you know Pinkie Pie grew up on a rock farm? <laughs> Maybe I'll go work there since I have no other plans for the rest of my life. Oh, come on now, Rainbow. You can't give up on your dream. Seems my dream has given up on me. Maybe I'll learn to shine shoes, sell hats, dig ditches. Or maybe you'll be a Wonderbolt. Twilight, give it up. I have. So, 
what do you remember about that flight? <sighs> Nothing important. Except after Luna was banished to the moon, Celestia needed protective forces, so Earth, Unicorn, and Pegasi formed the EUP guard of the protective pony platoons. Yes? And at the celebration of the first celestial year of peace, an elite flying squadron performed, headed by General Firefly, who later named the group the Wonderbolts. Uh-huh. Commander Easy Glider established flight choreography that is still used by the Wonderbolts today. Yes? I, I know the history. I know it all. But how in Equestria did that happen? You learned it. Yeah, I got that. But how? Well, on our first flight, I discovered that you catalog everything that happens all around you when you're flying, without even thinking about it. Don't you see? I made use of your special skills by enlisting every pony to help you learn the history of the Wonderbolts. I, Princess Celestia, banish you, Princess Luna, to the moon. No! Yep. Let us celebrate our first celestial year of peace. Yeah, let's party! I'm General Firefly. Gee, my costume is itchy and unattractive, but I'm gonna assemble an awesome flying team! I'll call them the Wonderbolts! Streamlined style by Flair de Mare. Admiral Fairweather. Colonel Purple Dart. Admiral Fairy Flight! General Flash! Commander Easy Glider! The History of the Wonderbolts. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Thank you! Thank you all so much! You're welcome, but it all came from you. You learn without knowing you're learning. Your main focus is flying, but then your brain is also absorbing lots of other information. It's actually really brilliant. <laughs> I always knew I was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Dash finally learned the history of the Wonderbolts, but she's not the only pony that needed a lesson. I needed to learn something just as important. One way of learning isn't better than another. After all, Every pony is unique and individual. Here, Spike. Uh, sorry. For this to work, it's crucial we keep our concentration totally on the. <laughs> Spike, this magic needs our full attention to make it happen. There's no other way. I can't help it. Look. <laughs> Never mind her. She's just being Pinkie Pie. Super extra Pinkie Pie today. Hmm. Twitchy, 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 twitch. Pinkie Pie, what in the wide, wide world of Equestria are you up to? Oh, it's my tail! It's my tail! It's a twitchy, twitching! And you know what that means? Actually, Pinkie, I haven't the slightest idea. The twitching means my pinky sense is telling me that stuff's gonna start falling. You two better duck for cover. Oh, Pinky, it's not gonna rain. Why, there's barely even a cloud in the tree. <laughs> he just said, nice catching, frog. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. 
So you all share this magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. You okay, Twilight Sparkle? I just couldn't stand to see the pond getting so overpopulated. What with the frogs all hopping into each other and all, so I decided to fly as many as I can on over to Froggy Bottom Bog. Of course you did. Bye-bye. Um, Twilight? You got a little something on your face there. Oh, really? Did your pinky sense tell you that too? Nah, I could just see it. La, 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 la. Come on, Spike. Let's continue our practice session where there's a little less commotion. Wow, that was amazing! Pinkie Pie predicted something would fall, and it did! Oh, come on. She said something would fall, and a frog just happened to fall right around the same time. A coincidence. Nothing else to it. My tail, my tail! Twitch, twitch! Twitch, twitch! Something else is gonna fall! Oh, Pinkie, please. Nothing else is gonna fall! <laughs> Oh no! Twilight fell! Is it safe to go help her? It's okay. My tail stopped twitching. <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, please. Uh, Twilight, why are you hanging out in a ditch? Because Pinkie Pie predicted it! Honestly, Spike, she did not. Two coincidences in a row like this may be unlikely, but it's still easier to believe than twitchy tails that predict the future. <gasps> Twitchy tail. Thank you, Saints. <laughs> Don't worry, it's safe. The prediction already came true. Oh, wait. Don't tell me you believe in this stuff, too. I know it doesn't make much sense, but those of us who have been in Ponyville a while have learned over time that if Pinky's a twitching, you better listen. My ears are floppy! My ears are floppy! <laughs> what does that mean? I'll start a bath for you. Huh? <laughs> a bath? This thing keeps on getting more ridiculous by the minute! <sighs> so basically, it works like this. I get different little niggly feelings and they mean different things. Like when my back gets itchy, it means it's my lucky day. And when my knee gets pinchy, that means something scary is about to happen. Is your knee pinchy now? No, but my shoulder's achy. That means there's an alligator in the tub. Oh! How come your knee didn't get pinchy? That isn't just scary, it's downright dangerous. No, it's not, silly. This is my pet alligator, Gummy. He's got no teeth. Hey, okay, I get it. Well, I still don't believe all this special power stuff. It's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. What's not to believe? You do magic, what's the difference? Huge, for one thing. <clears throat> Magic is something you study and practice. It only happens when you decide to do it. And it's meant to make something specific that you choose to happen, happen. With you, uh, it makes no sense at all. That's so not true, Twilight. Sometimes it's a bunch of random things happening in my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. I call them combos. Combos? Sure! You know, like ear flop, the knee twitch, the eye flutter. That means the sky is about to be graced with a beautiful rainbow. Yeah, sure. Uh oh. I feel a combo coming on. Ear flop, eye flutter, knee twitch! <laughs> uh, you said that combo meant beautiful rainbow. Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of an ear flop, then knee twitch, then eye flutter. This was an ear flop, then eye flutter, then knee twitch. That usually means look out for opening doors. Are you okay? I don't believe this. You don't believe because you don't understand. Hmm. Okay, now when you get another twitch, we'll have all kinds of scientific information. Okie dokie lokey! Any twitches yet? No feet of feet. Now? Anything? Wait, hold on. Uh, no. Are 
Are you kidding me? After a whole day of non-stop twitching, now that I've got you all hooked up, you're not getting a single one? I don't control it. They just come and go. That makes no sense. Sometimes you just have to believe in things, even when you can't figure them out. I will not believe in anything I cannot explain. Wait! Hold on. I'm feeling something. Oh my gosh, what? What is it? It's my tummy. That usually means I'm hungry. Let's eat. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> Just forget it. I don't need to know if this is real or not. I don't need to understand it. I don't even care. Okie dokie dokie. Have you seen Twilight? Uh-huh. Twilight? What are you doing back there? Uh, did you two plan this? Plan what? Ugh, this is ridiculous. This can't be happening. This makes no sense. I have to figure this out. Like, don't you know better than to sneak up on ponies? Oh, sorry, but, um, well, isn't that what you're doing? <gasps> no! Ugh. I'm doing scientific research. I'm observing Pinkie Pie. Scientific name? Pinkius Piacus, in its natural habitat. Pinkius Huacus? <gasps> There's something fishy going on with the whole twitchy prediction thing, and I'm getting to the bottom of it. So, shh! Come on, Pinkius Piacus is on the move. Hmm, itchy nose. Aha, <gasps> uh -huh. that makes no sense. See, she's hiding like something's about to fall from the sky. But a twitchy tail means something's gonna fall from the sky, not an itchy nose. This proves, perhaps conclusively, that... Spike, where are you going? I'm trying to teach you the value of science. Ow! 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 What's she doing now? Smelling a flower. Holy guacamole! I wonder what that means. Probably that the flower smells good. Wait, I'm getting something. Ear flop. I flutter, we twitch. Hold on. You told me that's the combo that says watch out for opening doors. <laughs> you really, really believe this stuff, don't you? Here, let me show you there's nothing to be afraid of. You see? I promise you there's nothing to fear from that... Ah! <laughs> Voila! You came to visit my new apple seller. How nice. Twi, you okay? Uh, Twi? Here, let me help you. Okay. Take this down. Twitchy tail. Twitchy tail? <gasps> Twitchy tail! Hey, hey, Spike, we can't let Pinky know we're here, remember? Something's gonna fall! Something's gonna fall! Look at your life! <laughs> oh, Spike, honestly, you're overreacting. <laughs> Jack, what you doing? Taking more apples to my new apple seller. How about you, Pinky? What you doing? Oh, letting Twilight secretly follow me all day without me knowing. You mean you knew all along? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Silly, that would have spoiled the secret. <laughs> Tail, still twitching? All done. Clear skies from here on in, as far as I can tell. <laughs> oh no, what 
does that one mean? Don't know. Never gotten any like it before. But whatever that shudder's about, it's a doozy. Something you never expect to happen is gonna happen. <laughs> and it's gonna happen. That froggy bottom bog. <gasps> That's where Fluttershy's headed. Oh no! Is it about her? Uh, I'm not sure. We better go and make sure she's okay. Calm down, every pony. All we know right now is that Pinkie Pie just got a case of the shivers. That's all. Huh? Hey, I thought you didn't believe in this stuff. I don't. I just want to be there to see the look on Pinkie's face when we find out nothing's wrong. Okie dokie. Need a jacket or something? No, thanks. I'm fine. <laughs> so, what do you think happened to Fluttershy? I hope nothing. I know, but what do you think happened? I'm trying not to think about it. Me too. But I'm thinking about it anyway. Like, what if she exploded? Just exploded? For no reason? Yeah, like, boom! Whoa! I know. What if... What if she exploded and then, and then exploded again? Can you do that? Can you explode twice? Of course not. But what if she exploded and exploded again and then... Will you two stop? She's fine, I'm sure of it. I hope you're right, for Fluttershy's sake. Look, there's Froggy Bottom Bog! Fluttershy! You're okay! Of course. <sighs> what a relief. I'm so glad everything's all right. Sorry. I know it's not nice to gloat, but... Aha! I told you there was nothing to worry about, and I was right. Pinkie Pie said whatever she was shuddering about was a <coughs> doozy, and... <coughs> and the only <coughs> doozy here is how right I am. Um, do I lie? Pinkie's made a lot of predictions today, but... <coughs> Ugh, what is that smell? But what we've shown here is that there's no point in believing <laughs> in anything you can't see for yourself. <laughs> well, then see what's b b behind you, Twilight. I see it, but I don't believe it. Is that a Hydra? Who cares? Run! <laughs> <laughs> So sorry. turning a hydra into a mouse? No. How about a squirrel? No. How about no small rodents of any kind? That's too bad. A hop, skip, and a jump! Whoa! Whoa! 
He's too close. I'll distract him. You two go, now! Oh, what would a brave pony like Rainbow Dash do? or what? But you said there'd be a doozy here at Froggy Bottom Bog. And I'd say we just had ourselves one heck of a doozy. I mean, that Hydra... <laughs> Tinky? That wasn't it. Huh? What wasn't what? What are you talking about, Pink? The Hydra wasn't the doozy. <laughs> I'm still getting the shutters. <laughs> you see? There it is again. Whatever the doozy was at Froggy Bottom Bog, my pinky sense says it still hasn't happened. Huh? But I... What? The Hydra wasn't the doozy? How could it not be the doozy? What could be doozier than that? Dunno, but it just wasn't it. <sighs> I give up. Give what up, Twy? The fight. I can't fight it anymore. I don't understand how, why, or what. But Pinky Sense somehow makes sense. And I don't see how it does, but it just does. Just because I don't understand doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> you mean you believe? Yep. I guess I do. <laughs> <gasps> that was it! That's the doozy! <laughs> what? What is? You believing! I never expected that to happen! That was the doozy! Oh, and oh, what a doozy of a doozy it was! Oh, good, Spike. You're here. Take a letter. With pleasure, Twilight. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm happy to report that... Spike, what have I been saying about focus? I know, but I... Well... What's wrong, Spike? Never thought you'd see me with an umbrella hat on? Not really, no. Pinky's tail's twitching. What else can I do? <laughs> <laughs> I am happy to report that I now realize there are wonderful things in this world you just can't explain. But that doesn't necessarily make them any less true. It just means you have to choose to believe in them. And sometimes, it takes a friend to show you the way. Honk! Honk. Always your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. There it goes again! I wonder what's gonna drop out of the sky this time. You never know. <gasps> Twitchy tail? Holy guacamole! 